start off on the local front and let's talk about the Black Princesses because it looks like their World Cup is over mm -hmm. just after two games. So they've considered what? They considered three goals? Two, five goals. In the first game against the United States. Then two, Today two. they lost by two goals to nail to Japan, who are the defending champions. Charlie, ah, we still haven't made it out of the group stage in this competition yeah. yet. That's how crazy it is. I don't know who wants to take this. Look, back. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, let, let's, let's look at it on two sides. I'm trying to look at the positives. Mm -hmm. And if you compare the performance today um, to what we saw in the opening game against USA, today was much better. You okay. could see a clear game plan. It was a low block, solid defense, try and frustrate the Japanese, yeah. keep them at bay, keep them as far as, as, far as from the 18-yard um, box as possible. So Japan tried a number of long shots and then tried to catch them on the counter-attack. In the first half, we had a glorious opportunity where Mukarama Pehe standard should have put the ball in the back mm -hmm. of the net. It was a long ball hitting um, on the half volley. She hit it. It just went narrowly wide. Yeah. And so Ghana was showing signs that given the space, we could harm the, 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 the Japanese. But in the second half, the counter-attacking opportunity sort of dried out. You try the defense as much as possible. When, to be honest, the, the, the girls actually held and, and, and mm. kept the Japanese at bay. It was quite unfortunate. The penalty we considered was um, a schoolgirl error. Um, cross comes in, her hand was uh, yeah. Yeah, out of natural position. He hit her hand. And you see, once the first goal went in, um, the countenance dropped. And of course, as Japanese went on to score a second and continued to threaten, it could have been more. But uh, compared, as I said, I'm trying to look at the positives and comparing the opening game to the second game, it was a much better performance. Also, to put things into context, this was basically the group of death. We are facing the defending champions in Japan, yeah. USA, who are a solid team. Mm -hmm. The Netherlands in the last game is going to be another very difficult one. So it was always going to be a tough ask to ask the girls to come out of this group. Um, but yes, still there are some problems, coaching-wise. There's a serious problem. And um, look, what's, the, what's the problem there? It's, I don't think we have seen much improvement. We've seen teams at this level... Mm -hmm. Since the competition started, obviously it's not the same group of 23. Yeah. But when you watch the progression they've made year in, year out, you can tell that these people are taking grassroots football seriously. They are taking an, uh, mm -hmm. uh, these underage, um, yes, uh, youth um, football seriously. And you can tell the improvement they are making. You can tell that the coaching is more structured. You can see exactly what they are about. And you can see improvements. But with, with, with Ghana... You, you really can see that. I watched the Nigeria game against France. If mm -hmm. you look at how the Nigerians play their football, and you compare it to previous Nigerian teams, you can tell that there's something that they've, is going they've, they've on down. They've made some forward strikes. Yeah, they are, look, they are putting in the work, and they are, they are making efforts to make sure that when they go out onto the, yeah. the world team, people, people can take notice of them and see that this is a group of people who are mm -hmm. taking women's football seriously. But we don't see it. And, and it's not just in women's football. I said this on Panorama and I'll repeat it again. Aside the black stars, in terms of coaching and quality, yeah. I don't think we put in as much effort into any other sport. Nope. It's basically talent and vibes. You look at the under-20 men's team. It was Ishahaku, Peshos, Boa. Boom, boom, boom to the final. Uh, 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 Bani Bani showed team. up in the final, we win. yeah. Uh, it happened in the under-17. It happens in athletics, raw talent, vibes, no coaching, mm -hmm. technical oversight, disqualification, everything, basar. You see, and <coughs> it's, it's a serious problem. You look at the boxers also. The same yeah. thing is happening there. When you look at boxers who are trained in this country and they go out, you can tell that there's something that they are missing. Those small, small things that can make you elite and con uh, to compete at the mm -hmm. elite level, we mm -hmm. are lacking it. So I feel like, look... We seriously need to set up the same effort and passion and determination you put into the Black Stars to make sure they are able yeah. to compete. If you put it all across board, of, of course, you can't put in the same effort, uh, uh, amount of money that you pump into the Black Stars as the Reds. But I'm talking about the seriousness. Yeah. If you really want a women's football, um, grassroots football, if you want those things to work, if you want boxing to work, if you want athletics to we will see. And those put efforts, you put, look, it will work. And eventually, we will see. Look at, I think it was a Sri Lankan who was, yes, you look at the 100 meter final, the Commonwealth yeah. Games. A Sri Lankan is beating a Ghanaian to a, a medal. You go to the boxing, was it a Pakistani or something mm -hmm. that beat Ga Ghana to the bronze medal or something like that? No disrespect to them, but these are people that traditionally are not known for those sports, yeah. but it worked. 
at least they've seen the Commonwealth Games as an opportunity to pick up a medal. So he's putting the work and putting the work and putting the work. And when he gets there, he's getting the results. And what shows that with our raw talent, if we don't put in the work, we can't do much better than what we are doing. So for me, it's disappointing on that front, but not to take anything away from the girls and their performance, that, the performance I saw today, the willpower to go out and not disgrace themselves. Because people were saying 9 or 10 or I expected the cricket scoreline, exactly. to be honest. And the, for me, the performance today was credit to the girls. Credit, credit. Coach, to the yeah, I just want to. Do you have positives like Daniel also has? Have mm -hmm. you taken any positives from this? No, not really. Because for me, I think, like he said, mm -hmm. because we don't attach the same level of importance seriousness and importance like we do to the black stars, it is going to come back to hand these girls. Mm. As we speak now, the black queens are suffering. Huh. As for the black maidens, the least said about them, the better. I said, and I'm going to repeat, yeah. up to now, we have not had anybody from the Ghana Football Association Excellent. showing yeah. us respect yeah. as Ghanaians yeah. and respecting women in general, coming out to explain and say sorry as to why our national under-17 women's team mm -hmm. has been banned for six years. Nobody. They've hmm. just kept mute on the matter. Yeah. It tells you the way they see the sports at that <coughs> level. It, it tells you the level of seriousness. Look, if the black stars were to be banned, people would be running crazy by yeah. now. Goodness me. The likes of Keto Kreku, the likes of Prosper Adu, Henry Asante, they will all come out because they know how Ghanaians are going to take that. Hmm. For me, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that we have a ministry of women's affairs who are just, they've sat there and they've looked at this matter. I'm sure the matter has been reported to them. They should compel the people at the Ghana Football Association, the sports minister in particular. Mm -hmm. Ah, what went wrong? Why have we been banned for the next six years? Yeah. Who is responsible for that? Who are those who made those this kindergarten is... unforgivable uh, uh, errors? They need to be punished. Mm -hmm. But they've just kept quiet. <coughs> they've slept on the issue. And mm. nobody's saying anything. So, in this particular tournament, yeah. do you think we are going to raise a team for the next two or two editions? No, it will be difficult. Because Where are we going to get a player from? Yeah. Because it's transitional. Yeah. So, as we speak, the under 17 women's team have been banned for six years. Hmm. And there's no guarantee that we are going to get an under 20 team for them to go and participate. Maybe they will go and get more university students of level 300, 400, <laughs> and convert them to under 20 like they did for under 17. We are in serious trouble, serious problem. Mm. And the people are running our football don't see it like that. For the game, what I mean, I saw glimpses of it, and I felt that today, I think they were properly coached. Mm. We clearly respected the Japanese as a ball-playing team, yeah. and we needed to form a block and then counter them. But the reason is it the 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 deficiency in that is very <laughs> simple. In football, the more you chase the game, mm -hmm. the more you burn energy. Yeah. And the quicker you get, what, tired. And it, in that second half, country, it was a clear indication that we had done too much chasing of mm -hmm. the round object and the girls had run out of steam. So like yeah. you said, it was just a matter of that first goal. Yeah. The moment the first goal went in, we needed to go and chase the game. Yeah. And there were gaps and the Japanese exploited. They could have scored three, four, five. But hmm. the two zero defeat is a bit respectable decent again we are back to batan where we failed to qualify out of the group stages in this same tournament yeah. it continues again so it's a problem it is a big problem um we've been to literally every edition of this particular competition since it started and we still can't make it out to the group stage i'm sure that there will be a technical report keto kreku uh the gfa people you need to sit down and look at this because i, I honestly think that our women's teams are closer to bringing us glory than our, our male teams. I don't, I don't know. If you've been looking at them, you look at the level of competition, you look at everything else, they, they definitely are close to bringing us something good. But 